Hi guys, I'm back and in this video, we in the last video we have talked about, we have seen the view leaf types, different types of leaves that are there and I've given a glimpse of it. Now you can go ahead in the tool and just see all the different leaf types, right? That you can do it. Probably that will take an hour or so. Now let's just see how to create the leaf types, right? We have seen how to view it, how to create it. Just search here, create a leaf. Okay, automatically it will come. So create leaf type task. So you have to use this particular thing to do it. Just click on that. And here we go. So what would you want? I will, uh, let's say normally uh, the paternity leaves will already be there. Well, let's just say, let's create a paternity leaf just as an example, because it is very common. Paternity leaf. Uh, you can give an ID. <clears throat> so ID is, you can give a number, but uh, what they allows you to give uh, alphabets so you can give alphabetics alphabet values leave uh, let's say us something like that then the leave family is nothing but the category that it belong it will belong to so the category category will be like family leave so i'm going to put family leave now always show if uh, remember last session we talked about uh, what is this always show never so we will see it right now so can you see here always show never so only so to users secure to leave off uh, so i'm sure now i mean i'm sure that you understood what is this never so means if the person has taken a leave then it will never show on his uh, what you say calendar agenda that he has taken a leave that's the that's what the meaning but normally we would like to use always show then uh, leave payment type so it's based on you can see here uh, what uh, France reclassification uh, legal period part-time right so that depends normally we don't use it but uh, yeah if you want to use it you can see it's not mandatory so if you want to use it then uh, just keep the details and if you want to make it active inactive you can do it so why the hell would someone create something as inactive? I mean, you can create it as inactive and later you can make it active, right? And eligibility criteria, let's just say this leave is for everyone, for India, US, everyone. So we're not gonna use the country, but uh, this leave is only applicable for employees, not for contractors. So the contingent worker means contractors, freelancers, contractors, stuff like that. So we don't want for that and uh, leave impacts all these options we already talked about them that you can use it so this option you need to give and then you have to go and select uh, this unit okay you can see it's mandatory so you cannot get away from that you must select let's just say days and uh, do not show balance that's okay and this to include so you want it for weekdays all right i want this is for weekdays so just a weekdays and yeah that's it and if you want to learn more on uh, this fields let's say additional fields just go and select the drop down okay see what are things are there these are like mostly self-explanatory so next leave type okay cascading leave so if someone is taking more than two types of leave is it possible yeah let's say I met with an accident and um, um, I was on sick leave or accidentally for uh, 15 days. After 15 days, I am well, but still I want to take a leave. So I will not be under accidental leave anymore. It will be something like the HR will force me to go on vacation. So then you need to charge on vacation, something like that, right? So that uh, is how it works. And leave of options, those uh, validation if you want to put filter conditions, right? So just say, give this and do not allow requests. If you want to put uh, filters plus supporting data, that also you can do it. Let's just make it simple and save it. So see, good thing is it shows you whatever error you are getting. Good that we got an error. So you can see here and just click on view all. So leave absence column uh, that we forgot, right? So leave of absence rule, right? So let's just see that here. 
leave of options actually we are not going to use it just remove it now it should be fine so if you want to use it give values otherwise it will be invalid just say okay now if, if i say done then it will create a leave type now do you understand uh, what is the criticality of creating a leave type it's not a joke because the leave type that you have created will be applied will have financial uh, impact positive negative whatever it is uh, it, it has it'll have a global impact so this is this is some serious stuff right so just sit on so done it's created now our leave type you can see here uh, you can search and you can see right go ahead and do that same thing that's it guys it was uh, quite simple but you today you've learned a very important thing or uh, how to create a different leave types and that's it so in the next session i'll be back with uh, another important topic thank you very much